Imagine a world where the entire planet is practically a wasteland, a world stricken with poverty and famine, a world where your only means of escape are via the virtual world. That's the world of Ernest Klein's Ready Player One. It's the future year 2045, and mankind's only diversion from real life is the Oasis, an advanced online video game console with a vast virtual world. One of its users is nerdy teenager Wade Watts. He's on a quest for a special easter egg hidden somewhere in the Oasis by its creator, James Halliday. The one who acquires the egg will inherit Halliday's entire fortune. Millions of users want the egg, including workers from IOI, a greedy global communications conglomerate that wants the egg so that they can gain control of the Oasis. Throughout his journey, Wade faces several conflicts, including his relationships with his friends, as well as his battle with IOI. Near the end, Wade finds out that IOI is resorting to murder and kidnapping in order to acquire the egg, so it's up to him to get to the egg before IOI and save the Oasis for the entire planet. Ready Player One can actually be compared to Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 since both books take place in an advanced dystopian future, so you might like Ready Player One if you're into dystopian fiction. Overall, the book is good for three reasons. Firstly, Ready Player One is a genuine love letter to pop culture. One aspect that makes the story stand out is the many references that it makes to pop culture throughout. For example, Halliday's Easter Egg, plus the quest surrounding it, was inspired by the 1980 Atari 2600 game Adventure. And even if you're uneducated about pop culture, the book does a great job explaining it to those unfamiliar. As a matter of fact, Charlene Harris reviewed the book and said, This non-gamer loved every page of Ready Player One. Another reason to read the book is its hero, Wade Watts. Wade is able to figure out how to find the egg, as well as how he can evade IOI, which demonstrates his intelligence. Also, his perseverance and will to invest all of his time on his quest demonstrates his dedication. These character traits are admirable and will make you care about Wade and his quest. My final reason for reading the book is its tense plot. The multitude of problems Wade faces, like his relationship struggles, his battle with IOI, and trying not to get his avatar killed, they all create tension in the plot. These factors keep the reader on their toes and make them want to keep reading. In conclusion, Ready Player One is a highly recommended read for anyone for its good story and characters. It's also a loving tribute to pop culture and anyone can read it without getting bored or lost. So check it out today. And remember, the question isn't what are we going to do? The question is what aren't we going to do?